Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we have my 2023 Z-Force 950 HOEX. If you're familiar with the channel, then you've seen most of this build, but we're continuing the build today and adding a couple of really cool components. One being our LED whip lights, but also more importantly right now, I'm pumped about this Echo X gear. 32 inch sound bar. It's full of great features, 500 watt peak power. And this sound system, I have one in my U-Force 1000 XL and it is amazing. You can actually hear good quality sound even when you're riding down the trails, riding down the uh, road, whatever it may be. It actually is crystal clear. It's not a loud, but just distorted sound. And we're going to install it on this 950. And you may have another machine. You can make this fit in just about anything. So I'm gonna show you the options. There's multiple options on mounting the Echo X gear sound bar. So let's get this unit out of the box and see what all comes inside. Look at this beast. It's absolutely awesome, man. You've got all these speakers. All of these are RGB lit up. Two LED strips on the back side. So this will actually be facing the back side. And what I really like about that is it'll almost act as a reverse light or, you know, it just shining, looking really nice while you're out on the trails, especially in low light conditions and at night. Very nice touch there. And then you got two speakers on the rear. But what's really unique about this particular sound bar is the options on mounting it. So I've got here, uh, you'll see two of these in your package. And these actually go right here on the end. You see that how it's notched right here? You'll line these up however you want and you can actually mount it like to the roll bar. You'll be able to take it, mount it just like this. And then I'll show you the bands that come with it as well that you can use. It's kind of like a hose clamp setup or you can actually drill and tap or drill through, put a bolt through like your roof and you can uh you know put a nut and washer on the back side just tons of options just with this particular setup and then also if you'll notice here all along the top here you have these threaded holes and you can actually mark that out on your roof drill and tap that and you have screw your hardware and stuff inside this box so you'll see the hose clamps here that will that you can use and that's probably the method i'm going to go with on my roll bar but there's so many options which makes this speaker even more flexible and more universal for whatever application whether it's on your sport side by side on the roll bar if you mount it on your roof on a utility machine just so many options i've also seen that this is not the only size that this particular sound bar comes in you can get a 26 inch uh, you can get smaller sizes and you can put it on an ATV on the front rack. Just so versatile. It's water resistant. And I mean, we have bashed and beat around with these before in the past. And they still sound just like the day we got them out of the box. Look great. Works perfect. So anyways, I'm going to stop running my mouth. We're going to start getting this thing installed. I'll give you a quick overview of that. Then I want you to see it powered up let you hear it, which is kind of hard to capture the true sound quality through, you know, microphones and an audio system and playing it back through your video, uh, whether you're watching this on your cell phone or computer or your TV. So it doesn't do it quite justice without hearing one in person. So anyways, we're going to get this up and mounted. I'll go over that and then show you the features with it powered up. So we got our speaker mounted. And one thing I want to point out is that at first I got kind of nervous because these outside clamps here uh, are turned out this way. The foot of the clamp was turned out the other way. But the good thing is, is that again, these are super versatile. You can uh, change the way that you mount it and you can take the two Phillips head screws out and actually turn the foot inside. And that has allowed me to be able to fit this inside my bars. And so again, just another testament to how awesome these speakers are. You have multiple ways that you can mount these and change up uh, for your particular machine. So for my application, this is what I went with. 
Now, one thing it does caution you, Echo X gear does caution you to not use this particular setup for extreme off-road rough conditions. Uh, there's other methods within the manual, such as a flush mount across with the threaded bolts to the roof. Again, I'm limited on what I can do because of my modified roll cage, but in other machines like the U-Force and different things, or whatever you have, Polaris Ranger, Razor, uh, Honda Talon, but just fill in the blank there. You have a way that you can mount this uh, with all the options that come with your Echo X gear sound bar. So now at this time, I'm going to uh, take and route my wires. Now this is gonna be different for each machine. So I'm not gonna get too detailed in how I run my power, uh, but I've got the wire here that comes in your box and I'm simply going to run my uh, power to key on power. You can also at this time wire in a switch with a relay. Uh, that's probably your best method or you can just find a source for keyed on power on your particular machine. Uh, and then you'll just simply route your wire in a safe manner, zip tight, whatever method you can come up with to have a good clean install. And then we'll power this up. Again, there's tons of options like auxiliary end cord. I will be using the Bluetooth source, so I won't be using that, but that is an option. You also have uh, auxiliary out. And look, what's really cool about this Echo X gear system is you can pair it up with tons of other Echo X gear speakers. So like, for instance, when I go out with this unit and my U-Force crew cab, I can actually sync up this speaker with the other speaker. And if we're parked around the campfire or parked, uh, at, you know, just at a good hangout spot, you can actually sync all the speakers up and be playing the same song and put on your little concert and have a good time with your friends and family. So. Really neat option there. There also is a subwoofer. I have that in my crew cab. I'm gonna to get to finishing installing this, routing my wires, again, personal preference there. And then we'll check out the features once we power it up. And finally, I'm done wiring this unit up. We've got the LED whip lights wired in to key on accessory uh, power. We also have the speaker hooked up. And right now I've got the rear LED strips on. And if you look right here, if we can focus in, that's controlled right here. You also have a remote that you can use. I think I've done put that up in the glove box, but you can use the remote and change and do all kinds of good stuff. But you can toggle this switch here. You can press it and change it to amber, then white, and then it kind of, it will dim the light as well. And then you can turn it off and then back to red. So red, amber, white, and it has, I think, a couple of different sh uh, shades of white or it get, just gets dimmer. But typically I keep it on red or amber, especially when we're riding. It actually adds a bit of safety feature as well. It's not just super bright, but it's enough to shine back there to be even more seen out on the trails. So I really like that feature. I'll turn it back to red. And then you can see I've got the, you can change the color of the speakers Right now I've got it where it just kind of fades between all the colors and that looks really good, man. So not only does this speaker look good, it sounds great. I'll, well, not going to hear it right now with that loud race unit. But uh, for copyright purposes, I won't be playing any music right now, or, or I'll try, we'll try to do it. But remember, recording with my phone right now, you're not gonna be able to tell how awesome this sounds without hearing it in person. You can change the mode here as far as uh, if you're gonna connect to the phone or any other connections. You can also do EcoCast, which is the Eco X gear, Echo X gear, uh, that's where you can sync up to other sound bars or the subwoofers. Uh, you can have a ton of these strung together and have a full on concert, man. So that's something really cool. Like I could turn this one on and sync it up to this one here that's in the U-Force. So we've got a whole nother sound bar right here. And if we had it uh, powered up, I could sync that and play the exact same song. 
sync together and have a whole lot of sound going. So that's pretty neat. And you also can change the colors right here by just toggling through that, turn your Bluetooth, cycle that. You can also turn up and down the volume there or just completely control it from your phone. So that's what I'll be doing most of the time. Hope y'all enjoyed this one, guys. Remember, you can get this same speaker at MainStreetCycle.com. We also have different sizes. I'll go show you that right now. So yeah, right here at Main Street Cycle or MainStreetCycle.com, we have several of the options for you for the Echo X gear. They've got a portable one that's battery operated. That's super nice because you just you can take it wherever you want it and not bound by having it wired up in a fixed position. We also have the one that we just installed on mine. And then here is the same wattage, 500 watt, but it's a 26 inch bar. Looks super nice. And I'll show you one mounted up on an ATV. Wait, first, don't forget, there's also a subwoofer and it, it looks awesome and sounds great. You can also get that at MainStreetCycle.com. And here's one mounted on an ATV. You can see how it was just bolted up with a bolt and a nut on the bottom side of the rack and you can mount that up it looks super awesome really really good all right so i tried to you know record playing some music but i had some problems with that wasn't able to do it you know trying to sync my youtube and film with my phone didn't work out well so what i'm going to do is actually link this video here U Force 1000 XL six passenger MSC custom build. And within that, you can see that we have the sound bar and the subwoofer. And in this video, you can actually hear some music and listen to the same speaker and the subwoofer. So yeah, I'll link that and you can watch the full video there. So that'll be down in the description or at the end of this video. So anyways, hope y'all enjoyed it guys. God bless you. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one.